Captain Whitaker, on the three nights before the accident, October 11th. October 11th, October 12th, and 13th, and 14th, I was intoxicated. I drank all of those days. I drank in excess. On the morning of the accident. I was drunk. I'm drunk now. I'm drunk right now. Yo, what's up, family? Welcome to Acting, where we talk about a great scene and a great acting performance from anywhere in cinema. And I have with me today Jason from Screens and Reviews to watch the scene and break it down with me. The scene that we're focusing on in flight is a scene where Denzel is at the hearing defending his performance when he saved the plane. There's a little bit of suspicion about whether Denzel was juiced a little bit on that flight. So let's go ahead and watch the scene and see Denzel's great acting performance. Let's go. I'm sorry, my what? Your opinion, Captain. Since her toxicology report is the only toxicology report that is admissible in this hearing, and she in fact tested positive for alcohol, is it your opinion that Katerina Marquez drank those two bottles of vodka on the plane? Yo, look at the look on his face right now. First of all, the makeup department did a great job putting the bags under his eyes. He's yeah. got the, the Band-Aid, the costuming department. But it's Denzel who's making this, like, not necessarily a dumbfounded look, yeah. but, like, just this look of, I really don't want to be here, and I mm -hmm. don't feel good. He looks sick. He's really giving off this, like, this pain kind of situation where he, he just, he's trying to make it out of this situation. I think what we're seeing here is just... Well, obviously, to me, great acting, because even what I learned is that every frame's a picture. Right. So if we just stopped right here, looked at, look at his face right now. So yeah. you can see the internal dialogue, like he, he's trying to figure things out. You can see him battling with the demons, because even those who've watched this scene, he was presented with a choice right there, whether he's going to throw her under the bus mm -hmm. or or or... Tell them the truth, as Concussion would say, right? Will Smith. Tell the truth. But, <laughs> yeah. but you can kind of see him going through that right here. Like, look at his face. It, like, his face is doing more in the scene than, than anything that he could utter. I'm sorry, Mr. Whitaker. I couldn't hear you. What did you say? I said, God help me. Yes. Well, however, is it your opinion? My opinion. The God help me. He's, you can tell he's just trying to find a way out of the situation. Like you said, it's either throw Catalina Marquez under the bus or admit that he's the one who did it. And he doesn't want to do either one. But the thing about Denzel's look, like, let's let's go back to where he was before when he decides to take this sip. I'm sorry, Mr. Whitaker. I couldn't hear you. What did you say? I said, God help me. Trying to reconcile those two points of I'm in a shit situation and I'm really trying to figure out a way out. I think that in this scene, he's had it with himself. The God help me part is like he's coming to grips with he can't get out of this situation. No, definitely. You can see the stress on his face. He knows exactly what's happening. Earlier in the scene, it's almost like he was painted into a corner a little bit and it was like right. the inevitable was about to happen. His That yeah. drink was him preparing. You're exactly right. The scene started off with some softball questions. If you think about like Don Cheadle and the other gentleman who's a part of his legal team, mm -hmm. they're mm -hmm. pretty much saying like they're going to give you softball questions. Right. All you have to do is pretty much give a bunch of non-answers yep. like Bill Belichick uh, mm -hmm. for the Patriots when he's just up there <laughs> doing a right. press conference. So you think having a 37 year old in Cincinnati? It's nothing about the past, nothing about the future. It's right now we're preparing for Cincinnati. Okay, is there, is, do you feel like the talent you have here is good? We're getting ready for Cincinnati. Football, you know, football is football. Right. Yeah, you know, the like a bunch of answers. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna go with Marshawn Lynch. I'm here, so I won't get fined. I'm here, so I won't get fined. I'm here, so I won't get fined. I'm just here, so I won't get fined. I'm just here, so I don't get fined. That's exactly why he's here. So let's keep on with the scene. Yes. Well, however, is it your opinion? It's my opinion. Katrina did not drink that vodka. Excuse me, Mr. Whitaker? She saved the boy's life. That's. Could you speak louder, Captain Katrina Whitaker? Katrina Marquez did not drink the vodka. 
because I drank the vodka. Oh. <laughs> that that is the line of the movie. Like we were saying before, from the sip of that drink, from him pausing and really not wanting to answer the question, he's coming to grips with I can't get out of this. I I've done this. I can't throw Trina Marquez under the bus. It's Denzel's performance specifically. He's doing this thing with his lips. He's blinking a lot when you know we know Denzel blinks. That, that's what right. Denzel does. The the sweaty look on his face, like you're mentioning before. Yeah, it's like he's he's not even there in this scene before this part. I I believe what I would consider foreshadowing, but it was in his acting before he drank the water. Like he had his tongue in his cheek and he was like, mm-hmm. like that, all right, doing this, all right, all right, like that. That's yeah. a wino. I'm like, okay, he had a few to drink. You know what I mean? Like right. you can just tell. Wow. There's a bunch of different ways that people play drunks. You can play a loud right. drunk. Yep. You can yep. play a quiet drunk. This drunk here, it's like. And th- you'll see throughout the entire movie, he's a functioning drunk, right? Funk, he's a, thank he's you. A I was just alcoholic. That. Yeah. Yep. So he can that. fly a plane and save a bunch of people's lives while being lit off of right. everything <laughs> that's in that wine cabinet. Okay, when I wait, wait, sir, what are we doing? Why would I trim down? We're going to roll it. Okay? Well, what do you mean roll it? We got to do something to stop this guy. Okay, you. here we go. I've got control. That that's exactly why he continues to operate the way he does. Because you'll see throughout the movie, he's saying, yeah, I'm drunk, but I'm not hurting anybody. Yeah, I'm mm. drunk, but I can still fly this plane. I can still wow. do this. And I think yeah. that speaks to a bigger thing of when we're doing things in dysfunction, but they're still kind of working out. We don't see that eventually down the road, we can really hurt a lot of people, including ourselves and the people who we love. Right. And that's a, That's the bigger theme. That's definitely. Yeah, I think right here is him admitting that I can't run from this anymore. With addicts or you know people struggling with addictions, um, and I'm and I'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination, but you see that in order for them to change, there's a breaking point, and it just so happened that with Denzel in this scene, the breaking point was just a public hearing. It was just yep. this moment, right? Yep. And I think. For him, just like you said, I'm hurting myself. Who am I hurting? No one else is being affected. This is me. But then that's the thing that changes him. So for some other drunk, it might be a terrible car accident. For some other drunk, it might be their their family crying. There's different reasons why people change. But for him, it's a moral thing. He's like, I don't feel comfortable. I don't ever want to put someone in a position where they're worse off because of my actions, you know? And that's the thing that kind of woke him up. And it's like, okay, got to face the music now. Here's that sip of water. And speaking of facing wow. the music, let's watch the rest of the scene. I drank the vodka bottles on the plane. Captain Whitaker, on the three nights before the accident, October 11th. October 11th, October 12th, and 13th, and 14th, I was intoxicated. I drank all of those days. I drank in excess. On the morning of the accident. I was drunk. He's really at his breaking point, like you were talking about before. Yeah, and, and it's funny because right now there's two actors in the scene, her and him. And yeah. I'm, I'm looking at her face, too. It's almost like she can't believe what she's hearing. Like, like this isn't how she expected it to go, you right. know? So there's a bit of, like, confusion on her face. Like, wow, he can't believe he's telling me stuff. You're like, you know, being being honest. I'm going to disagree with you there only slightly because I feel like when I look at her, I drank the vodka bottles yep. on the plane. Look at that yes, bewilderment. Well, however, is it your yeah. opinion? It's my opinion. Did not drink that vodka. Excuse me, Mr. Whitaker. She saved the boy's life. That's. Could you speak louder, Captain Trina Whitaker? Marquez did not drink the vodka. Can you speak louder? I know that she heard him, right? Huh? I think that what she knows is that he was the one who drunk it. Earlier in the movie, the toxicology report did come out. And there's no physical evidence on the bottles, no DNA, no fingerprints to link them to anyone, but they were uncapped and empty. And the only people who would have had access to those bottles would be the flight crew. 
Now, Margaret Evans and Mila Satow, they all had clean talks reports, so mm -hmm. that only leaves you. And uh, Trina Marquez. Right, Trina Marquez. Okay. Okay, I see where we're going here. That's funny though, you know, they only found two bottles. Why is that? I drank three. But it was sealed for some legal reason. The counsel, who he's speaking to right now, don't have access to those files and those documents. I see. So he was protected. And this is another reason why all he had to do was answer the questions, Marsh Island style, and he would have been out of there. I'm here so I won't get fined. I think that her performance is more so waiting for you to tell me what I already know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, so I, I think that I think she may be shocked that he actually did say it. Yeah. Um, but I think that she knew already exactly what had went down. Yep. But see, here's the thing, because knowing what happened, because she's mm -hmm. probably done this how many times, right? Yeah. This is her job. This is what she does. You, you know what I mean? So the fact so she the look on her face tells me that she never seen it go down this way because she's used to those you know, fluff answers yep. and then having to be smart enough to figure out and then catch in a lie. Yeah. But he's being so open and honest at this point. It's, it's almost like her face is saying, OK, I'm, I wasn't expecting this to go the way it's going. But since we're on this road, let me just get you to the finish line if you're going to tell me everything. You know? Right, it's right. Like, Right. He's she's going to hold his hand. We're going to get there together. I was intoxicated. I drank all of those days. I drank in excess. On the morning of the accident. I was drunk. Here it is. Look at that. Look at that mouth. Look at look, look, yep. look, look the work. Now. Yep. There you go. Right now. You see that? Yes, 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 Did yes. You see that? This is like, exactly oh. what you mentioned earlier. Right. He, like that he, wine old jaw. <laughs> yep. And then look at his face right now. Right. He knows he's about to say the thing that's going to ruin his life right, in his mind. Right. This is the, he, the, the, he's, he's getting the prepared calm before for the it. storm. Yep. I'm drunk right now. On this block. Because I'm an alcoholic. The, look at the relief. Yeah. The relief on his face. He's like, I finally said it. The moment he says, because I'm an alcoholic, everything in his life changes. Sure. For sure. Yeah. It's like he could have that that same scene done by anyone else could have fell flat because right. normally people are saying this in AA meetings. Right. You know, and, yeah. but, but he's being forced to do this in the public eye, you know, like that is like how it's like that's just another layer of, yeah. of stress and another layer of relief. You're finally telling yourself the truth, even from the tense moment before he says it to the yeah. moment afterwards, I can see like the relief on his face. All that stress has kind of dropped a little bit, you know, given the circumstances. Jeez. Wow. We can go back to it real quick. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see that again. The tongue's already inside of his mouth. I told you about that tongue, man. I'm drunk right now. It's black. Because I'm an alcoholic. Yeah, Jason. So thank you so much for joining me for the first ever episode of acting. Really appreciate your input, man. I appreciate it, Ken. Yes. I mean, anytime I get to watch uh, Denzel on screen, I'm there. This was <laughs> this was definitely fun. So I hope to be back for another one. I love breaking down uh, scenes and just kind of getting into the nitty gritty of acting. Screens and reviews on YouTube and also on Twitter. You can find me. A lot of movies that I review bring me back to my childhood. Love talking with others about movies. So guys, take a look. And if you do like, definitely subscribe so we can have a conversation and you don't miss any new content that I'm throwing out. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments. All right, y'all. So see you next time.